Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Well, today I'm going to show you, this is a little hat, a little Barbie hat that my little one, Izzy, made. Here we go. Let's fit Barbie with her little hat, oh, if I can. <laughs> there we go, Barbie. Oh, sorry, get your hair out your eyes. There we are. So Izzy made this. She's not she's not actually really into looming. She just likes stealing my stuff. But she did actually do this. The two things that she's used are the finger loom and then we bought some of these round nifty knitters the other day. She saw them and thought they might be quite fun. So we're in the process of um, playing around with these. So I thought I'd show you. They come in now I've actually I'm I'm doing a project on one of them so I have a, an orange one that is fits in here and then the very large one is the dark, is the pink and then we have purple green and then there's a mini one which you you can actually buy the mini one separately we did um which was the perfect size for Barbie's hat but the principle of how you use them is exactly the same so what I thought I'd do Barbie's hat actually works out very well as a standing skirt for some of my my 3D standing princesses as well. So it's another way of being able to, to make the standing skirt. So if you happen to have these, you can use them with yarn, like I'm doing at the moment. I'm doing a hat at the moment. Um, Izzy's best friend um, is, a, is a little boy that lives across the road from us. His favourite colours are orange and grey. So we decided we would make him a hat. So I will show you, I'll do um, a quick little show on how to do that as well. But first, let's try it with loom bands because you can make anything on these with loom bands. Now, obviously, it's going to take an enormous amount of loom bands to do something this size um, but if you have that kind of dedication and you're determined to do it there you go this is a new way of knitting in a round circle knitting looming whatever so when you're doing bands with this you're not going to double band I'm going to use um, these are uh, these are bands by Trend X Loom. Okay, they're silicon bands. I really love the colours. Um, I'm desperate for more earth tone colours and skin tone things that you can use for animal fur and stuff. But these are exquisite colours. I really do like them. The other thing is they're quite difficult to use sometimes if you're just looming because they're silicon, and silicon don't rot like the uh, like the rubber bands do, uh, do degenerate and whatnot. Anyway. What we're going to do, when you place these on, you're going to do your first round, okay, like this, and you're going to do a figure eight, just like we would with our finger loom or our, um, what's the other little loom that we have, the monster tail, okay, so you do a figure eight, like this. Now, depending how tight you want your skirt or hat to be, is whether you do two layers or three layers. Three layers will be tighter, two layers will not. Push these down, just like you do with your monster tail. Okay, and then you're gonna place your second round. This time though, you don't need to twist anything from now on. So it's only the first one that you really do any twisting with. So place these on, and this is each round you're going to count, and uh, this is our round two. Now I tend to like to do three rounds at a time, I think it gives a nicer, more sturdy result. And I'm just going to alternate my colours. So that's black, and now let's go back to the beat. Beat red. Mm -mm. Did you know in Australia it's very common for us to put beetroot on a hamburger? I have not seen that in this country. So place your bands on just like you would if you were doing a uh, 
something on your finger loom or on your monster tail. Now, the trick. One of the things they give you when you buy the kit is this sort of hook thing that, uh, well, it's not a hook, it's sort of this pointy device. And this is what you can use to push under this little lip. You've got this indent here. And you push your hook under and lift those bottom two bands up and over. And it works quite well. If you don't get one of those, woo, let's throw things all over the place, you can just use your normal hook. It works well as well. And actually, the um, you want to make sure that your rounds are not messed up. You want the black as your bottom layer. Um, the the uh, rainbow loom hook works especially well for this because it's got a nice deep hook to it. Now, I have found for the hats and the skirts that 15 rounds is really a good length. Push down. Try and do it with your nails if you can, otherwise they tend to roll. So that was three. And as you can see, the bottom layer that we've got now is red, so we'll do black. That's how you can remember what colour to use next if you're alternating. It's the opposite of what you see on top. So this is round four. And again, just pop your hook under. Ooh, throw the loom everywhere. Pop your hook under. Just grab the two bottom. Okay. And lift up and over the peg. Now, I got the, the uh, set of this from Michael's. which is my local craft shop. If you don't have a Michaels, I'm sure you'd probably be able to get them online on Amazon or any craft shop that you might have. I know it's a bit difficult when I name a craft shop and you're in a different country. Push down. So this was really good for Izzy to do because she, she just didn't... Um, it was it was chunky enough and big enough that she could just get the bands over. She has very little patience for doing things like this. But she did actually make that entire hat, so I was very proud of her. Okay, so this is row five, or round five, I should say. Use my rainbow loom hook, I prefer it. I'm going to meet you back here when we have both, or both, all of us, done 15. And when you've done 15, we'll meet back up and uh, I'll show you how you close this off. Catch you back then. So I have now just laid the bands for round 15. I'm going to take the bottom two up and over. And then when I've done that, I'm going to take the pair that are next. They're the, ne the next two. So I'm going to be left with just the two bands on each peg. Now what we need to do is take each of these off and keep them on a hook that will hold all of these bands and it can be a little bit tricky. When you do it with um, yarn you can sort of thread the yarn through and that's fantastic but we can't really do that with bands. So I'm going to use my metal hook because 
I don't have anything on it. There's no cushioning on it to get in the way. I can hold more on here, okay? And what I need to do, and it's quite tricky because this does not go under here. So what I have to do is sort of squidge my hook down like this to take these off. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm pulling, pulling this and putting my hook down like that. And I'm keeping them all on my hook. Now, will they fit on a regular hook? Yes, uh, it's just easier. I mean, there's not much space on this one. I have a little more space on one of these, but it gets a bit tight and squeezy. So I'm just going to use, make sure you get both loops on. Come here you, there we go, just pull and make sure you're not losing this last one here. So when you have them all on, okay, what we have to do is get something to tie off with. So I'm going to take a couple of bands and I'll, I'll use two, it's easier and put them on my finger, tilt this so that the hook is at the bottom and now these are tricky to use because they're silicon they're harder to slide <laughs> very hard to slide so I'm gently going to do it and I can see I've got one twisted on there there we go gently gently I've lost my bands. Let's put them back on from there. Get back here. What might be easier, because I'm using silicon, is just to move them over manually. Like so. And there's the end here. I'm not too worried about it because um, it, they're sliding so badly over. <laughs> but there we go. All right, there's the other end here. I'm going to take a single band. So I have both ends on my hook. I'm going to take a single band and put it through. And I'm going to tie a slip knot with that band there, like that. And then I'm gently going to ease this around so that these loops are evenly spaced around there we go now this is perfect for a, a, a skirt because you can just stretch it but it also works for a hat grab to hide your tie-off band just grab your hook and go through some of these loops grab the tie-off band and hide it under these like that as a Barbie hat it works just as well come here Barbie let's take this one off sorry I didn't color coordinate it very well <laughs> grab her little head pop her hat on and there we go a nice winter hat for Barbie I hope you have fun with it. It, it really is, uh, it's quite easy to use. Um, the only tricky part is taking things off when you're using bands, um, as I'll show you that it's a lot easier when you're using um, yarn. Best of luck.